Hi guys! It's Azura the Neko Demon and welcome back to Fran Bo. So last time we went down the well looking for Mr. Midnight and then we met some weird twins and we we're doing some kind of magical spell. So let's get back into it. Alright. Should I do it now? Oh, alright. Sh what should I do now? Well, I'm guessing I have to put this over their heads. And now I'll say the words. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce these. <clears throat> There's no way in hell. It's just a bunch of gibberish. Wait a second, that is not the right spell, you tricked us. Oh, sick. Well, at least they're separated now. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this is not right. Can I have the key? Such a happy little teddy bear. <clears throat> Let's go see if this is the key for Mr. Knight. Go on, Fran, please get me out of the cage. Find the key. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Uh, where was the other keyhole? Creepy ass doll. Oh, that's right. It was on the mirror. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to take the pills. Fuck me. Yeah. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? <clears throat> I want to use the key there. Thank you. Oh, it's a puzzle.
see. I messed this up. Well, maybe not. Okay. Okay, it needs to go there. she hitting her sister of promise we Clara Mia Bohalmet promise to revenge the unfair destiny it word decided for us with blood and tears we promise that we will kill him our bodies back and bring our bodies back we won't stand for this any longer even though we are sisters we hate each other we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, the weakest will die. Oh, the two-headed doll. It must be really old. Duotine. My pills are called duotine, too. Hmm. But they have yellow ones. I wonder what the difference is. Ooh, the key. Mother must die, ew. Maybe that mommy wasn't a good mommy. A blue rosette, I like it very much. Pink rosette, pretty hair decoration. Shiny stuff, it looks like a necklace. Pearls, I guess, from a broken necklace. Alright, let's go get Mr. Midnight. I think it's the key. It worked, my kitty. It worked. Come out, let me hug you. No, oh, we're so happy. Aww. Is he licking up her tears? That's a little weird. Oh, it feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Going, Mr. Midnight. Um... Talk to the frog. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. 
I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I can't swim, Mr. Midnight, and Mr. Midnight is so afraid. I would love to help you, but I'm so tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it's impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Um, that's his crayon card, bloody knife. Can I use the knife on him? I can't do that. Well, I guess by process of elimination, it's gonna have to be the baking powder because it's the only thing we didn't use yet. I'm not a bakery bun. Well, you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> he's huge! It worked, it really did. I am big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran, I only one complaint that Toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise. I won't scratch the Toad. Let's go. You're so upbeat, Fran. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. And this book was with it, too. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. I'll take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like the pictures. I like pictures. L well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. I missed, of course. Boink. 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 Oh shit, I think I fucked up. No, I didn't. Ha <sighs> ha. Shit, I'm at. Damn it. <laughs> ha. Here we are, jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. And he just disappears into the deep. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's, it's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find a way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Ooh, little tree bridge? Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, 
friend. Come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Stop licking your butt and talking to me, cat. Alright, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Where are you? It's the midnight, where are you? Oh, there you are. Fran, wait. Oh, demon goat. Oh, well, alright, she's dead. I guess that's the end of the game. Okay, maybe not. Oh, my. You're crying blood. Oh, my dear, I can't hold. I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I've got you. Man, no. You look so sad. Kitty suicide. Jumping off the cliff. All right. Don't be afraid, Fran. We we'll always fall after pain. After the pain, we will always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you take me out of here? Please, just leave me all alone. You'll just leave me all alone like my father and mother did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please. Please! Fran, it's time to take your new medicine. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Oh, Mr. Midnight. One of Fran's shoes. These are Fran's stockings. Fran's shoe. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty! Kitty! Stop it! What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you're a tree. Don't be silly. Help get up. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from the night. The night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure we where we are either. 
Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please, don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Omaka egni mi hula. Clock lock eg romana. Asu hula ni. Egni jokavanti. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hula kok. Hula kok. Yeah. Hula kolo hula. Stop it, I'll scratch you. Hula rumana igni. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hula. Stop attacking me, please. I mean you no harm. Hula igni vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Can I talk to the turnip? Old vegetable sitting on a boat. Well, there's the purse. I see my friend's purse. I have to reach it somehow. Oh, can I? Yes. There we go. Can I get it now? <coughs> I got the purse. Only because I'm the best. Arrogant at all. Stop attacking my friend, carrot. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is ta attacking me the family picture. I would have called him a sir, I would have just called him a carrot. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Him. Damn it. Give it. Can I show it to him? I won't even try that. And I don't know what you want me to do. Omana ni huka arumana paskin ulta. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir vegetable? We want to help, Fran. I can feel it. Uki rumina epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Gloompa gloompa. Chapter 3 Vegetative State. So is she in a coma? Is this all a figment of her imagination? Echapun bol menesket ba zaya in hula o moon. Ishka iptken gorska emtken ulflol. Gorska zir. Welcome, creature. My name is Zyre. Do you speak human? <laughs> human? Do you mean English? And even at that, you're speaking English, but there's so many languages in the world. Okay, I'm just... never mind. Oh my goodness, yes, finally words I understand. 
My good friend Ride told me you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl. No, she's the cat. Can't you tell? Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho ho ho, no need to speak, my child. The seed. The seed will show me everything. If can manaska echo ectobro ectoporote. You just stole my little fruit thing. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt. That. No doubt. About that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are a girl with a passion for life. I see a great love towards the cre little creature standing next to you. A cat, a protector of the gates. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed. Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except one. You're making me dizzy. I don't understand what you mean. You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? I can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous. You should have never been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. I still feel love for my kitty. I can't be dead. Please help me. Little cat, come close. Let me see me. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. This is indeed a very pretty name. What do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. I have a question. Are you the king? Uh, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithersta. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of your going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back home to. There are many reasons, sir. Most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused most of the time, all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Where is the door? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this side. Yes, sir. That would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that, and we'll talk more about him after the, the procedure. First, you must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Ew. Let me eat your, uh, weird fruit that came out of your body. But your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Do you understand what I'm saying, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. 
Do you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand a fruit for myself. No need to... You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think it's... I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time to, for the procedures. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. What are you trying... Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Oh, he just took me out of my pot. Where are you taking me, Mr. Beetle? Oh, he just dumped me on the ground. That's cool. Ooh, a flying puff beetle? Good day. My name is Polanthrus. I'm your doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, I just, I'd never seen anything like you before. He looks like a fluffy tadpole. That's what he looks like. I'm just, I'm still trying to understand what all, I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human! I think I can get you a pair of arms and legs. We'll have to travel a bit farther in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me! I'm the beast! Let's go! That's a terrible joke. Not gonna just throw me in this pond. Here we are. Oh, this place is beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Volocus Volocus created it. It has the purest water of the whole universe. And you just threw me in it? I contaminated it. Oh wow, it sounds amazing. Who is the great Volocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he started a war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken. He was all alone. He came to Athirsa, and he made, his blood made this water pink. And this is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And then, and how is it you are here? What brought you to a thirst stop? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him. But then we fell. A big monster followed, that followed me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But sir, doctor... Do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep on being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. You took on this shell, empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. And this is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. Our land is vulnerable. I did this to myself. Wow, but Prolanthrus, sir. How, how didn't I know I was doing anything? You really didn't know you were doing what you were doing. 
I see. Well, when you travel to Thirsta, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with the door open, unexpected creatures can enter our reality. And if this happens, the balance will be tainted. There is only one who would like to poison the second reality, the monster, the terrible black. He looks so sad. I can't see this happening again. I can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. You don't have to be sorry for anything. I think you are very special. But let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Mm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from a thirsta? Well, I feel like I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix you. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? You think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had. You're so fluffy and beautiful. I did not. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern. Dern? Dean? I don't remember how to pronounce it. By the time you guys see this video, you won't know, but, like, last time I recorded Rambo was, like, two weeks ago so I'm sorry if the voices change and pronunciations. I'm also recording this at like six in the morning so don't judge me. His name was Dr. Dearn but he was an evil old man. An old man. Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Here we are, again, show Zier the king what a nice I thirst in you become. Thank you again, doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Alright, I know this was like a really heavy like reading episode and we didn't really do much, but I'm going to leave it here and then we'll continue on in the next part. If you guys like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. You don't have to, but it's nice. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!